Well, you're still a revolutionary waiting for people to jump, and that, that's not the way they do stuff now. So the day of we get ready to fight in the streets is not going to happen that way. Remember now, the TV controls everything that go on there. So every now and then, every month, you'll hear some crack or some black man talk about a race war that's coming on. Oh, we believe there's going to be a race war. That's the diversionary tactic, because as long as they can keep you thinking in the future that there's going to be some stuff, you will never actually tap into what's going on. So all these revolutionaries that's walking around on the college campus, they know nothing about that they have taken 12 million black people and killed them. They don't know nothing about that shit. They don't know nothing about that half the people, 98% when they start their revolutionary, the government ain't gonna make sure there's so many clones are gonna be up in there. You see what I'm saying? They don't understand that the damn religion that they're going up against, all the white men gotta say is you a child of Christ and he's gonna get black people to turn against them. So what I'm trying to say is, is this particular, it's this young egotistical thing that's going on. And the reason why I know this is because I was up there. When I was there, we had just as many revolutionaries. And like I said before, Every four years, you get revolutionaries to talk shit. And then at the end of graduation, they cut the goddamn dreadlocks and go there and get the corporate job, and you never see them no more. And so the ones that's up there now is mild compared to the brothers who were there in 89. You know what I'm saying? We took over buildings. You see what I'm saying? We was raising hell. Niggas was going and fighting the Ku Klux Klan and going to jail. You see what I'm saying? 92, they was fighting all this here. But what I'm trying to say is, that's only something that you do in college because ultimately nobody ain't going to give up nothing for black people. And those, so basically, they can go and get their groove on in college. You see what I'm saying? And they can go to the white man's shit. And so when the black people say, you a damn sellout, they can go, their child say, you a sellout. They can go, no, no, you don't understand. I did this. When I was in college, we did this and we did that. And that's their revolutionary part because they have no intentions of sticking with it because struggle is forever. You see what I'm saying? So now you got this whole thing. So it's a whole new crop of rubber revolutionaries that come up talking about stockpiling, getting guns and all this kind of shit. You're supposed to start the goddamn revolutionaries in the 70s. I mean the real revolution in the 70s, before AIDS, before crack. But why is it it's always a damn reactionary when it comes to the real shit? Because the white boy is eight steps up ahead of us because we deal on the physical and not the spiritual. And these are things that's actually going on. Now, I mentioned to you the last time that Gandhi was a government agent. Did I mention that to you? About Gandhi being a government agent, which in actuality was under the same government uh, uh, that, Mount, uh, that why Martin Luther King followed that particular, that particular uh, uh, pattern is because the government, when they got to him who was a government agent, they said, you follow the Gandhi type thing, as well as... Uh, as well as um, your boy, uh, that, that in the spiritual thing, they had to get a spiritual guru, and your boy that was a government agent, uh, the British spy was your guy that wrote the book, the autobiography of a yogi, Yogananda, which was also one also, too. Now, we're dealing with some things we're going to go right on, because we're we, we, we going to keep on going right on up. Uh, we're dealing with some things, when you deal with more science, like I said, the reason why I said you need to get that cup of destiny, and take the white people out of it, because when you're dealing with more science, the more science is that holy grail that they're talking about. But now it's going to be a little better, because when you rent the movie The Excalibur, you can see the actual stuff of the holy grail, and the movie First Night, they give you a little bit of the stuff in it. Then when you, get, when you read the book The Cup of Destiny, and another good book, this is an excellent one here. This one, this is one that is you, it's called The Secret Tradition in Arthurian Legend. Also, you know, you're going to read, you're going to rent the movie uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, The Last Crusade. But in here they're going to deal with Maryland coming from Atlantis, uh, coming from Atlantis, and um, 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 basically Maryland was nothing but, the, but, but, a, but a black person. You see what I'm saying? So this particular book is going to deal with the Atlantean period. It's also going to mention, it's going to uh, quote Rudolf Steiner's book. Uh, did you ever get any of those, Sister Afrikiti? Uh Universe, Earth, and Man. Uh, Rudolf Steiner's Universe, Earth, and Man. But anyway, he's going to quote it in. But if you've got spiritual hierarchies, he's usually repetitive. You know what I'm saying? He usually does the same thing over and over again. Universe, Earth, and Man by Rudolf Steiner. Um, but if you get, if you got, you got, you got any more spiritual hierarchies by Rudolf Steiner, you sold out. No, not spiritual hierarchies, cosmic memory. Well, well, spiritual hierarchies is good. Any Rudolf Steiner's work, he's just so hard to read, you got to really stick with him and all. But in, in this particular book, they're going to do, his name is Gareth Knight, who wrote this particular book. The Secret Tradition in Arthurian Legend is, is, is the one. That's more science. 
more science, so, uh, more science. Uh, like I told you before, they showed the more in Mall Flanders, which will be coming on video soon, which is, uh, you know, that's more science. Any science and stuff. The Kabbalah. They're going to tell you the Kabbalah was given to the white man by the Moors. They brought the Holy Kabbalah up and give to the fake Jew because the fake Jew had converted and stuff. They said, well, we're going to give you some information so cause we know you're going to take it, believe in you, the Jew, and that way it'll be around for us. So we said, why did the white man give, why did the Moors give black people, give the white man all these secrets? They gave them the secrets because they understood that the white man would rule the world and that's the stuff that we would get now. So by the Moors giving them the Kabbalah, giving them the secret keys of Enoch, no, the secret of the Gautia, uh, the book of Gautia, talking about these spirits, the lesser keys of Gautia. So you got a spiritual realm that is kind of, then you have what is called the lower spirits, lesser spirits. What do they mean by lesser spirits? The lesser key is, if you got a spiritual realm up here that you can't get to, you need to use the lesser keys, the lesser spirits, which is down low enough that they connect with you and you can connect with the higher spirits. So anytime you see the book of Gautia, you got any more of those keys of Solomon? That, yeah, that book of Gautia, the, 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 in the, in the, that's the, there's the, the greater key of Solomon is the book, the keys of Solomon. The lesser key is this Gautia spirits. You see what I'm saying? All that's more, all that, all that's more science. Which more, they'll tell you, the more, when you see Sufi, they're talking about more. Sufi means woolly head one. So the more, all that's more science that they're giving them. So your Kabbalah is more science. The Kabbalah came out of Egypt, and the Moors went in and, and got that particular information and took it to, took it to, when they took it to Spain, they had to train all these crackers. They gave them all this particular information. They gave them all these particular information. You'll see some stuff called the Enochian spirit. The Enochian spirit. Um, the, the, uh, uh, the Enochian spirits is dealing with... Um, the, the god Enoch, but it's these angelic um, um, spirits, which is supposed to be very powerful. The Moors left that up in the Europe, left these, these, this stuff up in the Europe, and as, after they left the stuff in the Europe, this guy named John Dees came in and plagiarized all over it and said it was his shit. You see what I'm saying? The, the angel, so that's the Enochian spirits and all. Uh, that's also more, uh, more science. Now, they got a stuff on HBO called Search for Sanity. It's called, you know, they got these HBO uh, documentaries. It's called The Search for Sanity. And they got these white people all crazy. And how they have to, they're still giving them these lobotomies drilling into their brains. And they're just showing these tons of white people that's crazy. And I notice they don't have no black people on the show. If we are crazy, it's based on conditioning. So that's a different type of mentality. But we're talking about, these, they just show these people in search for sanity. And all these white people are crazy. And they, they, they're showing all these white people are crazy and stuff. Uh, like that. That's in its own right now. That is on right now. Now, did you get any of these? This is Yaku's history by the Nation of Islam. I think it costs like three dollars. Uh, do you did you get any of these, Sister Africiti? No. This is the history of Yaku uh, by Malcolm X, and this is one of his speeches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get them all. Yeah, like that. You know, also too. But uh, I think you can. You, you'll find some distributors and stuff. So that's one you might want to read also too. Also. Um, also, now they're talking about evolution from apes and stuff. They got a lot of stuff coming on about evolution from apes and the hominid. Remember, I don't get in. That's their history. When they first made, that's why you have to go and see. Hmm? Oh, okay. And Malcolm's? Okay, okay, you got an audio. Okay, cool. Now they're going to come in. They're going to give you evolution of apes. They're going to talk. They're talking a lot about that now. And they're showing all these piltdown man, Nubian, what well, they call it, Grimaldi, and all this kind of stuff. That is not our history. Remember now, if you, if you get Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, remember when they first made Frankenstein, he couldn't talk. Uh, he, was, he had to evolve until the person that he became at the end of the movie. You understand what I'm saying? Well, they just gave you one little part on how he evolved in a matter of months. You see what I'm saying? To a year, but in actuality, it took them years to evolve to the person that they are now. You see what I'm coming from? It took them years to evolve to the person that they are now. You see what I'm saying? And basically, so, and, all, and, actually, and you know, basically they do their bar to temporary intelligence and stuff. But in actuality, in actuality, they are vampires. Now, there's some stuff on, I got an out of print book. And there's some stuff on vampirism. Now, what is a real vampire? This is what a real vampire is. Your magical fluid 
is an elixir of AWOS. Now, what does they mean by that? Your magical fluid is an elixir of AWOS. AWOS is another, no, another name for the Christ, another name for, for Heru, and another name for the ancient black god, Melchizedek. So if your magical fluid is indeed an elixir of AWOS, anytime you hear the word elixir, they're talking about alchemy, 